This year's race will be the second biggest one as organizers expanded the field to a total of 36,000 runners to allow the roughly 5,000 left on the course last year to get another chance. Michelle Steele's on Boston Common this morning and joins us. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Kevin. Emotional is right about 15 minutes ago. At 8.45 a.m. Eastern, there was a moment of silence to honor those who lost their lives in the attacks last year. A, a reminder that this is a marathon that is both meaningful and being staged on an epic scale this morning. 36,000 runners, as you, as you mentioned, they turned down 5,000 who wanted to run, 10,000 volunteers. 3,500 law enforcement just to make sure that this is going to be as safe a day as possible. Now, right now, we are at the Boston Common. Plenty of smiles and excitement among the runners on their way to Hopkinton for the start. Now, as far as the schedule of events for the rest of the morning this morning at 932, the elite women start at 10 a.m. The gun goes off for the elite men. Right before noon, we should start to see some of those elite women finish, followed, of course, uh, by the men. Now, I spoke with competitors as well as the race director over the weekend, and we are set, folks, for a race for the ages today. Considering that there's going to be so many more people, so many more runners, so many more spectators, um, the security is going to be so much more. I mean, you just have so many more things uh, to be grateful for that it's just it's going to be a so much better marathon than I think than any other year uh, previous. I think people people believe that um, that that was an isolated situation that'll never happen again, and they want to take back Boylston Street. They want to take back that finish line. They want to take back the city. They want to take back what's rightfully theirs, and that's what we're doing today. And that's what we'll do on Monday. That was race director Dave McGilvray. And uh, guys, he is going to be busier than just about any of us today. And get this, he actually runs the marathon at the end of his day at 7 p.m. He ends around 11 p.m. He was one of those roughly 5,000 runners who was not able to finish. Quite frankly, he wasn't even able to start last year.